alongside Teddy Atlas, Bob Joe Tessitore. And we're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to the Mexico City Plaza here at Mexico City for our main event of the evening. 12 rounds in the middleweight division. Great atmosphere here tonight. You talk to everybody ringside, and they expect this one to be a barn burner for two. Coming out of Linwood, Sugar Shane Mosley. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Well, they're scheduled to go to full 12 here tonight. Round one now underway. Super two-punch combo by Sugar Shane Mosley. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. He gets off with a combination up top. A power puncher going up against Sugar Shane tonight, Teddy. Yeah, where are you going to put that power, though? Mosley's not the easiest guy. I mean, he's not impossible to find, but not the easiest guy to find. Maybe that's power to go downstairs to the body. You know, freeze some of that defensive ability, that head movement of Mosley, then bring it upstairs. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Danny's work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? And we come to the end of the round, and you know his trainers gotta love that because they stress, hey, Go out there and be smart with what you're doing. He was very smart about when to throw and how to land. And that's the key in the sweet science. Placing your punches, as you said, making them count. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Wow, just like the old timers, a four punch combination. You're doing great. Fires right back at him. Very nice defensive guard there. Gaddy's able to land a nice clean left hand. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Blocks away that headshot. Back upstairs he goes. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Miss shot. Okay, look. Go sweet. Nation. And round number three is underway. Keep moving. Keep moving. He just missed that shot up top. Trying to erode away that body with the combination punching. Keep moving, keep moving. Carries that punch intended for the head. Mosley's doing a really good job of being defensively sound, of being patient, and waiting for that golden opportunity for some offense to come in the mix. Well, that's exactly what he's doing. He's waiting for a mistake to be made. You know, he wants to lead out of his opponent right now so he can make a miss and bang, come right back with that hook. Threw the straight right hand, but didn't score with it. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punching. Well, the old timers used to say, when you're calm in there, when you're controlling there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. Beating you to the punch every time. You need to cut the ring off. Mosley's up a round here after three rounds on Teddy's scorecard, but really nobody has distinguished himself to any great amount so far. Gaddy's got a little something coming back at him, a counterpunch score. They trade shots, he comes back with a right hand. Yeah, he's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Off the target by Sugar Shane Mosley. He took 
a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Good exchange. He fires back. Nicely timed one two. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. Good right hand. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. And we come to the end of the round. Gaddy's commitment to being judicious and effective really worked out well there. The punch stats proven. Throw more punches. Jab, jab, jab. Oh, jab. And we are back underway. Another round in a fight that's been very entertaining, but I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. Hey, if you can throw them all, you may just land them all, and he does with that four-punch combination. Sugar Shane Mosley's absorbing a left hand. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Mosley's combination punching here is showing you what good boxing is all about. Three punches thrown, three punches landed. Oh, and there you go. Oh, this is going to be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. One, two. Mosley's now getting back up off the canvas. End of the round, and he's had better rounds in the fight than the one we just saw, but still, it's very much there for the take. Yeah, whoever finishes off strongly in the late parts of these rounds, a lot of times, you know, the judges get mesmerized a little bit here, too. You know, it's a real close fight, and you kind of forgot where the separation was, and whoever grabs the last part of the round, that's who you remember. Very important in this kind of fight. Finish up good at the end of the round. Mosley showing us that he is willing to stick with the game plan. But Teddy, that game plan saw him knocked down earlier in this fight. What would you be telling him? You know, in some ways I'd tell him good because you have to go with what you have. You know, you can't completely change. That's not possible in the course of a fight. You are who you are. So it's not the game plan necessarily, Joe, or the style that's wrong. It's the execution of the game plan. That has to be done better. <laughs> Mosley's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. Good combination to the head. Gaddy's done a good job there offensively scoring with that left hand. End of the round, a round, end of the round, a round I do believe that he was able to take. But his opponent is there stride for stride. It's going to be a close fight. Teddy, where do you have him on the scorecards? Is he I, up? Yeah, I have him slightly ahead. But as you said, very close fight. And the kind of fight where you let up for a moment, you're going to lose it. Okay, breathe now. Deep breath, deep breath. Holy oh, shit, you are. So as the bell sounds, we put to bed the first half of this fight, and we are underway with a new round. Gaddy's showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Sizzling hand speed we saw moments ago. Heck of a combination. Uh, pretty easy to get it off when you're that fast. Yeah, it is. And what it causes, too, is besides us saying, ooh, that we see those quick hands and the judges, you know, marking it down. Also, it makes the opponent keep his hands in his pocket. He's afraid to move his hands because the other guy's so much faster. Doubles up the jab. <laughs> Takes a step back, then the counter punch by Sugar Shane Mosley. Very similar to what you see Floyd Mayweather do. You know, make a miss, pull that shoulder back, and then come right back with the counter. Boxing 101, jab, followed by the straight. Great right was lined up, but he missed. And this round comes to an end. Jab. Okay, work that jab, then right hook to the body, then left hook to the head. Right, body, head. All night long, this is your 
fight. You are in control.